Okie dokie. Well, I'm streaming, I suppose. I, um, I've surrounded myself with art, some of it mine, the upper left-hand corner. That's a bunch of freelance I did. Should be about 60 illustrations I did for a role-playing game company called InWorld. And they're uh, definitely uneven quality. The thing up in the upper right-hand corner is just what I call the doodles. It's the sort of thing that I feed the uh, tumbler with. And I should, uh, I've, I've got quite a history of like about six years or seven years worth of tumbler fills of just dropping in no excuses doodles and, and sketches and every now and then one of them's pretty good. Uh, the lower left is for the most part I think it's Glenn Barr. Yeah, it's Glenn Barr stuff. There's not as, there's quite a bit of it I think. There's probably about 30 of them. I don't know how long it takes to loop. Um, I love Glenn Barr. I, I see a little of myself in Glenn Barr when he's uh, doing his sketches and his preliminaries. I don't paint like him I, at all, but I have aspirations like that. That sort of painting, you know, I love that sort of uh, what he gets up to with his oil paints and I'm assuming they're oil paints some people can take a, a paint like a, an acrylic and make it behave like oil or have it look like oil and then the bottom right hand corner is the guy I probably right click saved the most is uh, Ben Caldwell it's not that I think I want to look like him the most because if I had my druthers, I'd look, I'd have a style direction where I'd veer off and look like Glenn Barr. And uh, but but Caldwell, for whatever reason, I I just realized that his appeal is so high in terms of like what he's up to that I that I always I can't resist it. I have to save what he's got there, and it is fun to have these. Well, excuse me, these files sitting around ready to inspire you at a moment I like uh, I like this OBS thing surrounding myself with this art it's kind of cool I'm going to be doing a hangout with uh, my friend Scott Sackett on Wednesday we'll talk about whatever we may have a, I'll try to get myself a little more situated like right in here uh, it's it's got the same bedroom uh, <laughs> that you've seen in other videos I've streamed but it looks so much better you know just a flat backdrop and get a little lighting on me and uh, wear a hat get a better t-shirt crop me <laughs> but I can't I can't use OBS when I'm on uh, on hangouts so I've got to study that issue wear a better shirt anyway okay Oh, let's let it play for a while. Maybe I'll comment on something. Glenn Barr, I dig what he gets up to. They they call these guys, they put them in a school, but they are, they're all different. I, I went to see a uh, display of his stuff at the uh, La Luz de Jesus, the Light of Jesus, I guess it would be. And... Uh, the gallery downtown LA and of course I was, I was surprised about how small some of them were and it wasn't much of a show I wish they'd had more I'd like to see some of his big stuff of course he's on Instagram oh you know he's a big fan of he's a big fan of that girl um, from the moon zero or whatever it was that the group that did UFO and Fireball XL5. I forget, they're, they're big on puppet tunes. What, what was the name of that group? Anyway, they were. But that one actress, she, uh, she's quite a lucker stunner. There's a, uh, 
<laughs> There's a scene she's got in a movie called Pret a Porte. Is that what it's called? Which is, you know, a word for the help. And that's in a Robert Altman movie. No, I forget what Anyway, she's got a great nude scene where she gets soaked and she just Barbie dolls and every other vision of nude females is ultimately based on she's just perfect. I forget her name. Um, oh, and I've also been studying lately uh, Googie art. I'm wanting to do something. I'm wanting to do a cowboy thing. It's got a little googie art kind of influence to it. I want to get dig into it where it's not quite rubber hose animation looking, but I want to get detail down to a minimum, and I want it real expressive, real gestural, and I got to do the studies for it. I mean, wanting it, I've got to pounded into my head and I brought oh, I could show I could share that. Let's see if I can shove one of these aside, put one of them in the middle of my forehead or something, or just turn it off. We'll turn Ben Caldwell off. Let's see, add another one. Show you what I been grabbing here lately. Let's look. That will be in a file I've called Googie UPS. UPA, rather. Because UPA is uh, an animation studio that has influenced a lot of what you see in the Googie art. Gerald McBoing, Boing. The kind of stuff that drifts around let's registration with its uh, fill colors kind of drift around a little bit and it's fun stuff that looks like I've uh, got very few examples of it really I put Tank Girl in it for whatever reason well let's see what happens if I add GIFs in a slideshow it's not showing them is not being prohibited let's see what happens We'll play through them and then go on to the next one. Here we go. We're about to find out. See what happens as that cycle. So, of course, Jamie, you, look at that. It plays through them. It seems to be on a loop book, though. It doesn't, it doesn't skip to the next one. No, it does. Yeah. Oh, the duration of the slide is what dictates it. And another Jamie Hewl Hewlett. That's not very googie. New Yorker magazine covers. The guy coming up, Shell Silverstein, St uh, Shell Steinberg. Yeah, Shell Steinberg has uh, got one coming up here. That see, that's pure googie. Of uh, this is what Glenn Barr gets up to all the time. Of uh, uh, now I'd have to go back. That sort of thing, showing off your zip -a tone Gorillas, of course. Great stuff. Did a lot of great. That thing looking like a process video. now and then I think I want to see Tank Girl over again and then I talked myself out of it. <laughs> it was alright. Had its moments. I like the idea of mutant kangaroos that are the most, most lethal force on earth. Okay, here we go. Gotta get to it though. Anyway, all this bar background, that's very Glen Barish. Okay. We'll either minimize this a little bit. So that's good. Learn something else about how 
that is cool to know. Actually, that could be a, quite a little bit of fun narrative to have a, a, a GIF going and, and know how long it's going to run. And uh, yeah, you could do some stuff with that. Well, anyway, what's this? Oh, that's the Glen Bar stuff. Oh, just experimenting. I'll never stop. I uh, experimenting is another way for me to say uh, procrastinating. There we go.